Scar Pain Relief, Effective Treatments for Knee Scars. Did you have a knee replacement and you have a scar that is either unsightly, it's something you're embarrassed to show your leg for, or it actually is causing some pain? There are lots of treatments out there. Let's discuss a few of the more common treatments and some that are more advanced. We get different degrees of scar formation based upon our genetics. Some people are what we call hypertrophic or keloid scar formers, and they tend to have scars that are very raised and rigid and can even remain red. They can be super thick, well more than the body normally intends to lay down. So that's why it's hypertrophic or above the normal amount of thickness. And those can be treated after you've been cleared by your surgeon to start manipulating the scar. We also have people that form scars that may be flat, but they're painful. They feel like they're restricting the ability to move the knee. And you know that after you've had a knee replacement, the goal is to obtain the greatest range of motion possible. So things I've seen people do and things that I do recommend all based on a multifaceted approach. So the first thing is while you are letting that scar mature or heal and know that it can take up to a year for a scar to reach full maturity, you want to make sure that you are putting sunscreen over the area so the scar doesn't get even more pigmentation than it already may. You're like, but the scar is white. It's okay if it gets a little darker because I want it to blend in. But we don't want those changes that can come with pigmentation that's unpredictable after a surgery. So that's one. Put some sunscreen, cover the area. The second is once you're cleared by your surgeon, you can start kind of rubbing some creams into the scar and you can actually start manipulating the scar and be pulling it up and kind of doing this twisting kind of motion at the scar as you're moving all along it. Note that when you have a surgery to replace your knee, your scar is often very long. It can be 30, 40 centimeters long, depending. So doing a cream, oftentimes the silicone based ones and doing that kind of rubbing in, almost twirling in your hands, this kind of a motion here along the scar as directed on the package. Other things to consider are that you can have some injections. We really want the scar to be something that is comfortable, that is flat, that is not impeding or restricting your range of motion. So if it's supple and the collagen beneath is ideal, then you should have the best range of motion. Things that we can do are a couple. Now, I know that in the past, people have asked me, what's wrong with cortisone into the scar? Isn't that going to cause the scar to soften? Isn't it going to cause the scar to lessen? And back in the day, a lot of people were doing cortisone or steroid injections with into the scars. The disadvantage of this is steroids aren't benign. We've talked about that in many other videos, but the gist of it is steroid can cause atrophy or thinning of the skin and it can spread to places that you don't want to have the skin thin. So it may potentially reduce the thickness of that scar, but in an uneven fashion. You can have then little bubbles or ridges or nodules where the flattening, it wasn't symmetrical. So that can be a bad a cosmetic outcome. And again, steroids aren't benign. You look at the effect they have on your bone density, on your ability to heal, especially when we're talking about a healing scar, if you're looking at the inability to then maintain your blood glucose, etc. So I don't suggest injecting steroids. Two things that you can use to inject are pretty darn benign. And I use the ultrasound to do these injections if we're talking about prolotherapy. That's a dextrose-based therapy, 5% dextrose, and you run a small needle underneath that scar and you kind of puff, puff, puff it up, separate those tissues. It's almost like taking a cotton ball and putting something in between to kind of fluff up all the little tissues so that you have something that is initially very puffy. And over the course of the next couple of days, it flattens. And with that, it can release things such as an entrapped 
nerve that may have been with the original incision and then the sewing back together, you could have had little nerve endings that aren't happy. And that can be a source of continued pain that's not related to the joint replacement in terms of the hardware is fine. There's been no failure, no loosening of the hardware, but it actually hurts superficially. Your knee can still hurt. This can do a release of the nerves and can restrict the range of motion. Oftentimes it takes a couple different sessions of it and it's not particularly painful. We can use tiny little needles. So dextrose prolotherapy is one way to do it. The other way I found good results are you can micro needle into scars. That could be platelet rich plasma, which is your own blood. And you can use the PP portion or the platelet poor portion of that and micro needle it like you've seen people on TV for things like a vampire facial, for fine lines, wrinkles, etc. in the face. I actually use the platelet rich plasma and or the platelet poor function portion of that PRP to micro needle into scars because it can help with the collagen creating a healthy collagen environment at that level. So micro needling deep within a deep scar, again, this can take a couple of different sessions, but that can also lessen the restriction that the scar is causing, allows it to flatten out and be less noticeable from both a color and a texture and a height fashion. So treating knee scars, whether that be for aesthetics, you just want it to look better, or it's a source of post-operative pain is absolutely an option. There's so many things you can do over the counter, but I think it kind of takes a more of a multifaceted approach where you're doing some manipulation of the scar when it's appropriate. You're putting some maybe silicone-based creams or patches over the area, and then we can move all the way up into prolotherapy or platelet-rich or platelet-poor plasma microneedling or injecting within the scar, depending on how thick it is. So there's always options. If you'd like to learn more about this, please visit us at kneeboostnow.com. You can also get on a call with me if you've got some very specific questions and we can go over some one-on-one -on -one with you. Thank you. If you like this, please subscribe. Please also suggest other topics and your topic may be the subject of our next video. Thank you. Have a great day. If you have knee pain and would like to learn more, I have a worksheet called five things to do now to reduce your knee pain within a week. Go to www.kneeboostnow.com to download it for free. I'd love to hear from you. So please like subscribe and comment below so I can help you get out of your knee pain.